all right so it's the time is now quarter past six monday the 8th of august 2022 what you see behind me is the house that i live in okay and this view was not open like this before they actually um, some guys came and they cleared out this area so now as this area is cleared i have a better view of the burial ground now this burial ground right now is actually overgrown with grass you'll notice my nose is clogged up again it's a normal thing the house has a lot of bacteria that my system my immune system is not accustomed to um there are a lot of animals and reptiles in the house right insects as well too right the cat's not too much of a problem okay but there are a lot of frogs and a lot of insects every morning when i wake up the the, the ground is usually a bit sandy and that's usually because of a lot of dust coming in and also i'm walking over dead insects okay so my system is not accustomed to that and that's why in the morning time especially and sometimes at night i have a problem breathing at night as well too here is the next stop Rimichi lodge okay uncle josh is right there and from here i'm going to um see ralph and then we head to his farm so ralph is getting ready as well too his name is ralph ferreira okay um he is a farmer and today we are going to see his farm where he has peppers for sale a lot of peppers he has about an acre of land and he wants me to assist him in promoting the peppers to get sale for it so that's where we're going today um it is a nice little walk from here it's probably about a mile and a half probably when we reach here we'll see what it's like it's another jaguar and thing in the back here. It's got one one. It's got enough plenty there and because we you should destroy my stuff there and plenty balls like manaka, mm -hmm. maridi, kawi. What about akuri and plenty. laba? Plenty. Plenty? Yeah. We should destroy the stuff. I already shoot two deer in the farm. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with the meat? Well, you sell some and eat some. Good meat, man. Deer meat. Mm -hmm. It's nice to shoot. Yeah, deer meat. Now, Ralph was taking me a little off track here. And what happened was that a few days before, a lightning bolt struck very very close to him and his son and he's taking me to an area where the thunderbolt all its shock a couple uh maybe about 50 or 60 feet away it cut a path in the forest as well too and it pitched up some of the mud onto the leaves of the banana trees as well to see scorchy ground a little bit as well yeah when we coming out to the bag i just saw like you just hear like when a gun shot go off and I said, what, like somebody, like somebody opened fire here, mistakenly shot this area. But when we, when I get to realize, it's like my son was in the corner there on the ground. The, the pepper bag was in this corner, everything. I was here, just, I couldn't see when this thing happened. Just watching blue flames and I couldn't hear because of the, the song left me and then the, light, the brightness of the, the, um, the light blind my eyes. I couldn't see further. We had to stay like anything like about half hour before we had to move become a son. His foot get weak and we just left a, we definitely just left with a shock. We take but half hour before we leave to start walk out the road. Even to then you were very nervous and weak. So we take the time and walk out. Here's our resting spot where we come. We have like 2,000 roots here. 
the big hot pepper and um, actually when we reap we reap like um, two 200 pounds like every every week 200 pounds of this, this hot pepper but I glad if you could um, could find a, a market of you know a permanent market or an overseas market that we could be able to you know sell all the time now what Ralphie was explaining with the overseas market or a foreign market is that the prices are usually more stable um, the local market there is a usually a fluctuation in prices and sometimes it could be very bad sometimes it could be very good right now he's getting a good price for his peppers in the local market and that's because because of the flooding a lot of farms got destroyed and there's a shortage of peppers and so he is benefiting from that right now uh, there is a tendency that farmers when farmers see other farmers making money in in um say in producing peppers there's a tendency for all the farmers to want to follow or copy the, the crop so this is why things tend to drop in price right now he's looking for a price that is about three to four hundred dollars a pound but there was a time when peppers went down to thirty dollars a pound and at that price he couldn't even pay his workers okay so he stopped working on the farm for a little while because of it and this is where the government could assist by ensuring that there is a market at all times for farmers produce and maintain that price throughout okay so there are several challenges inside this this farm uh one of it will be there 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 tend to come inside the farm and tend to eat out most of the crop all right all right now some of you might be saying well you know um this territory belongs to there in the first place but technically no what happened is that the deer is normally in the savannah side and this is more forest so what happens is that the deer gets the scent of the farm and they come in and they start to eat they say there's a lot of deer that will come in here sometimes so even though you dispatch two of them today you might get two more coming in tomorrow because they are coming in from the savannah side now the other um i would say danger here are snakes venomous snakes right there are a few venomous snakes in the area and the, the most dangerous one they said is the bushmaster now what they say that the bushmaster is known for is that it will bite you but it will continue biting you as long as it, as it sees you moving and it believes that you are alive it will continue biting you regardless that it has bitten you once some snakes they bite you once and they will try to run off now i believe that if we could get a standard market for in this in the um in the village that it might be good for the village to take these peppers and produce pepper sauces pepper sauce they make very good pepper sauce in this community very tasty and they could benefit by the farmer getting something for his produce and women who can make because usually women who do it who can make pepper sauces will benefit by making pepper sauce so as long as he has the support he is going to continue working working on the farm every three days as he said he has to take out 200 pounds manually there's no vehicle coming inside here and one of the things i would have liked the government to consider is getting a vehicle to assist them to come inside here as a farming area you'd want something called a side by side a side by side is a, a better vehicle to have because you'll be able to carry a bigger load as well as carry a few people on it you need to modernize modernize so it will make agriculture easier more accessible and less work for people to do otherwise if this has to be done by hand all the time you definitely will not be getting a lot of youths involved or interested in agriculture if you had machinery like the um the tractor for example should have a backhoe on it 
a bucket some people call it a bucket so that they could pull out stumps from the land and prepare the land properly where when it's time to plant they just pass the tractor in and within maybe 15 minutes to half an hour they have that that entire area prepared and ready for produce Indigenous Guyana is designed to bridge the gap between modern society and indigenous culture. Join us on our journey into the life of the indigenous peoples of Guyana. Guys, you see, you kind of, you see where I have to come to do these kind of videos for you guys? <laughs> 